drop, pen and drop. Well, Flesh said that he's working on his album, Ghetto Billionaire, and he wants you on it. He wants you to record a track Less. with him for it. Less. No, Royal Flush. Oh, Royal. Yeah, whatever, thing. Whatever. Yeah, that he brother, said he wants brother. you on it. I, told, I always tell him, man, my favorite song when I was coming up, one of my favorite songs was Cuban Connection, Flex It, Wild, Tipper Kitch, because he's the first one who really did some thugged out shit with Cuban in it. You know what I'm saying? So... I, I always love that. You know what I'm saying? And he said he's Cuban too. But I, I would, I would love to see you brother. guys he work on something new together, man. So we should definitely make that happen. I mean, I, I, see, this is where you test them out right now. You, you test it out. You know, at the end of the day, when it, when it's uh, situations like that, like uh, I've been hitting Royal for a minute too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, besides, you know, say the shout out that I did. You know, when I heard he, he caught cancer and all of that. But besides that, I've been hitting up in the in the background and. And uh, I wanted him to get on a song and all of that, but we didn't get in touch or whatever. Now I, I kind of see, like, you know what I'm saying? Joe is in, in the picture. Uh, so I would say this. So let's, you know, if it's, if it's like that, then uh, Royal, my brother, this is a special announcement for you. Send me the beat, brother. Send me the beat, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got you, whatever. Uh, send me the beat and uh, I'll spit some, some fire on it. And we'll make a classic, you know, a timeless classic, man, me and you, some real Cuban shit. Let's do it. Don't let Joe do what he did with Nori when he goes behind the scenes and starts saying, don't do a song with him. And then you might feel a little funny because he's, you know, he's been with you through this, you know, your, your, the cancer thing. And you feel like, you know, you're not, you're not, you know, you can't look him in the eye the same way. Because that's just doing a song, right? I'm not going to talk about that, nigga. It's going to be a, a song about music. So that's how we put, that's how I would. Say it, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't want to be neutral. Cause cause sometimes, you know what I'm saying, they get friendly with Joe and then it'll fuck up my relationship with them because now they can't do certain songs with me. They can't do a song with me. You know, they're afraid of, you know, even giving me too much love. So it's things like that. And they start making excuses. So that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I, I've seen it before and I seen how it played out. But uh I would do a song with any one of these dudes that, that got love, especially that I got love for, that we chilled before, and, and I, I consider more dumb niggas like an instrumental part of my career coming up because, I, you know, I love the, the craft. I would love to do songs with these guys, man, but it's just that, that that's the, always the problem. The problem is that, oh, when they get with Joe, all of a sudden they don't, now we can't do a song or they make excuses or it's not the right time. You know, I see that, you know, but like I said, I would love to do a song with my brother too. You know what I'm saying? He's a lyrical monster. Roll you fucking flush. <laughs>